I'm sorry if you're sick of these types of videos. You know, I'm I'm pretty sick of like the club I love at the minute. Really, I am. Like, we we just show no ambition. We we literally don't. I just wanted to make this video just you know to to get my thoughts across. Like, I I, I just don't understand what's wrong with us. I really don't. Um, the the rumors are that well, some reliable journalists anyway have said that um. You know, Lou Van Hal didn't offer to resign, contrary to reports. Uh, that was reported by SSN and BBC. Um, and uh, it, it just it just beggars belief, all right, um, that he said that he can't fulfil the fans' promises, but he's still going to remain in charge of this club. And also, Manchester Evening News said that he's, he's going to repay the faith shown by Woodward, who's... You know, when he did want to resign back in December, he persuaded him to stay, and he's going to repay Woodward by staying for the rest of the season. So you know what? I've just give up this season. Like literally, I'll I'll continue to watch the games and all that shit. But you know, I've got no hope. Like it's been eradicated. We're only five points off fourth, but it feels as though we're closer to where uh, Chelsea are in the league. Like seriously, I'm I'm just done. There's there's no ambition to make a change. Like it's not as though. There's no one available. It's not as though we can't make a change. Mourinho is there. Mourinho wants the job. Mourinho's done everything in his power to get the job, I'm pretty sure. And yes, we can hire him in the summer. And maybe, you know, this season will hopefully be forgotten and we can move on. But the fact that we're that waiting that long just to do it, it it's, it's ridiculous, all right? It's just going to put us a year behind from where we could be because... There's no chance we're getting top four. Like, if we get top four, I'd be I'd be astounded. Really, it, it's gotten that bad. We, we've scored, what, 28 goals in the league? Something pathetic like that. Ten less than Moyes had. Three points less than Moyes. And yet still, we've got the best record against the top six in the league, which just shows how bad we are against everyone else in the league. It, it It's ridiculous. Fair enough, we're winning in big games, but when, when you've got no consistency, what is the point? Like... It, is it harming these big clubs apart from Chelsea anyway, which we drew against, so it didn't really harm them. But is it really harming the the clubs that are currently above us, the four that will finish in the top four, Leicester, Spurs, Arsenal, and Man City? No, it's not. And ultimately, they're going to get Champions League football. They're going to be further up than what we are. And what do we have? Money. That's it. Like we're we're probably going to be the richest club in the world next year. And D d as a fan is that something to celebrate no no it's not as a fan i want my club to do well i'm not bothered what they do financially like fair enough obviously football's a business and you're supposed to make a profit but you're supposed to care about you know the the club the the fans that uh you know well i obviously i've only been to two games all right so i'm not going to class myself as you know one of these paying fans but y you've got season ticket holders you've got people who go to every game people who go to away games and everything and they buy all of this for the club just to sit there and say they, they literally don't give a shit now i'm sure this happens in so many other clubs but as a man united fan it's the first time i felt like this and it, it's horrible i don't want to hate the club that i love but that that's how it feels i just want the season over i've got no confidence against someone like FC Mittelsalden land. I can't pronounce them in the Europa. It literally, I have no confidence that we're going to win that. I have no confidence that we're going to beat Derby, a club who just got trashed in the FA Cup again. Uh, not in the FA Cup, in the Championship by Burnley. I've got no confidence we're going to beat them. Like, uh, I, some of the blame obviously has to go to the players, but I'm going to blame the hierarchy at the club, the recruitment system, the well, Louis van Gaal in particular, because he's the one that wanted a thin squad. I'm going to blame Woodward for chasing fucking superstars that we're never going to get. Why? Why are we chasing Neymar, Bale, all of these superstars that we're just never going to get? It, it, like, stop living in the clouds. We're not going to get them. And personally, do, do we even want them under Louis van Gaal? Like, I've been questioning myself. Like, I'm good at the club hasn't made a January transfer. But then I think to myself... Is it worth it? Because we'll probably sign a, f a fullback, for example, and you get played in centre back or CDM. So what is the point? We'll just harm his development. So you know, I, I just want this season over. I really do. Lou Van Hal, seriously, just 
Woodward's a complete coward. He literally is. He's a complete coward. If you don't know, he's our chief executive and he makes all the decisions in the club. We don't have a director of football. We have no one at the club, including the board, that knows anything about footballing matters. They're all in it for the, for the money, it, it, it commercially, and it, it, it's just a joke. It literally is. We have no one on the board. People blaming Ferguson and David Gill and all this. Yeah, I'm sure they they share some of the blame they have probably a say on decisions but the final decision maker goes down to Woodward and the Glazers aren't going to replace Woodward because of what he does commercially for the club the Glazers won't leave because we're the richest club in the world or will be next year so you know there's no point in hoping that the club will rebuild because it won't all right the, the best we can hope for is Louis van Gaal to be sacked and that isn't going to happen until hopefully next season when they part ways via mutual consent and then maybe maybe we, we can still get Jose Mourinho unless the club fucks us up just one more time and gives Giggs the job. Someone who's been part of these two failed successes. And to be honest, I'm, I'm going to lay into Giggs because he might be a legend at the club, but he, he was distancing himself from Louis van Gaal. He, he, you know, you could tell he was just trying to shift the blame onto Louis van Gaal. He, he doesn't want to be tarnished with the same brush. And I'm sorry, that's cowardly. You could have t taken the Swansea job. Widespread reports that Swansea wanted him. Why? Why? Uh, like, seriously, why wouldn't you? It's a Premier League job. It's probably the best job you could get. Well, <laughs> unless our club's dumb enough to give him the job, which probably will happen, to be honest. I, I have no faith in decision-making. But still, it's a brilliant job to prove that you deserve the job. People are having a go at Gary Neville because of how poor he's doing at Valencia. But I think he's had, what, five, six draws, two losses? Valencia are in a crisis, but at least he had the balls to take a job, to take management outside of the league, all right? A very good job, and then if, if it doesn't work, he'll be able to get another one. But if it does, he bring he gets manager prestige, he gets experience, and, you know, maybe in years come, he could be good enough for United. You never know, but I, I just, honestly, everything about our club hierarchy... I, I'm just sick of it and as for the players yeah they have to take portions of the blame but to be honest when when, when you're a default position and you're getting played in five different positions in fucking five different systems and all this shit you're going to get confused I'm sorry no matter what people say Louis van Gaal is obviously deploying certain tactics which d deprive the players from expressing themselves from taking risks because you, you look at some of the players and they, they just don't give it a go. It's only the ones that come off the bench. And you, you've got to wonder why. Like, why does no one take a risk? It's probably in fear of being dropped. Even though it's such a thin squad, th there's fear of being dropped. And it, it's just not going to get better. If it does, wonderful. That's what I want. But it, it's not going to. It really isn't. Like, it, If it was going to, you know, we would have seen a change. After that 3-3 against Newcastle, I thought there was hope. I thought we'd continue being attacking, but have we? No. The, probably the reason that we scored three and we looked attacking is because Newcastle came at us full force. I don't blame teams for sitting ten men behind us anymore because well, it, it's guaranteed to at least give you a chance of coming out with a draw. Like it, It's so easy, so easy defending against United. Sheffield United defended as though they were fucking Italy back in the days when they had Maldini and all that and yeah and Cannavaro and uh like they made it look so easy and it was just a 94th minute penalty that got us through and it, it just literally it, it's not good enough and unfortunately I, I firmly believe that it's not going to change I believe we're, we're going to be probably we're going to finish with our lowest points total our lowest goals scored in the league probably our lowest position as well because we're only five points off 10th Five points off 10th and five points off 4th. At the minute, I just think we're going to slide down the table. Literally, we've, we've got... doesn't matter who we've got, really. If it's top clubs, so because they attack us, then these tactics work, which you know might give us a few points, unless the top clubs decide to sit back a little bit more. Then we'll, we'll get those entertaining nil-nils, get points, but it's the lower clubs we can't beat because they sit 10 men behind the ball, and we don't have a system or tactics to to eradicate that and yeah uh, this went on for too long i don't know what i'm going to title this like I, I i don't know it's just it's just depressing but anyway on the fifa matters i'm going to be bringing back who performs best um i've got the football manager career mode and um i'll probably but well i will bring back squad builders and everything but is there any other videos you want to see in on this channel 
could be anything i can do other club reviews etc i know i was doing that what, what do they need series and that stopped abruptly i do apologize for that some people did enjoy it but if you've got any other ideas suggestions leave them down in the comments it, it really is appreciated cheers again subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace